When you see something with Stanley's name on it, you know what you're getting. For those of you who don't know who Stanley is, he's the man behind some superheroes you know today, such as Spider-Man and Captain America. To put it another way, if they know Stanley, there have been no Avengers films. So with Stanley's Hero Command, it's all about controlling original heroes. You progress for the game by leveling up each of your stats by adding points that are awarded to you once you complete a level. The game goes out its way to show you what stats you need to upgrade before taking on the next level. In fact, the skill upgrade time is low, so by the time you've replayed the previous level, the skill upgrade will be ready for you. Sadly, that is one of the few good points that many more bad points too. When you first select your character, you're then locked into the character for the rest of the game. So if you get bored and want to swap, you can't, you have to make an IE purchase before you can swap. I tried the twins, I was treated to an intro that had me drawing comparisons with how Robin was created. It didn't feel very original. The twins feel like they are joined at the hip in both movement and combat. There seems little thought in giving each twin their unique style of fighting or tagging together double team moves. It would have been nice if also the audio commentary matched what's going on, on the screen. After all, you're playing two heroes and not just one, so more of World on Heroes instead of World on Hero. On some levels, there are kind of blind spots where you can't see yourself or the bad guys hiding in them, leaving you with two options to either bomb bash and they hope you're actually hitting them or to make a run for it to where you can see yourself. And that is the game, very much piling to the bad guys, bash away before running to the next available Stanley box to heal your hero. Sorry, I mean heroes. Before it's false, at least the game is free to play, and as I said before, the timers are low. Still, playing the game, you won't feel very super at all. And if it wasn't for Stanley's new on the tin, you most likely pass this game by, as it falls and looks a very cheap build. Shame, really. This is Brian for Dutch Gameplay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.